Hey guys, what's up? Sora here with more Street Fighter V story mode. I'm currently getting my ass kicked <laughs> against Bison, but we will try again. So let's get started. So unfortunately, he's playing like survival mode Bison right now. Don't know why I backdash that. Oh my god, as soon as I let as soon as I let go of down on my controller, um he goes in. Can't do anything on neutral jump. I have to build enough meter for an anti air. Fundamentals! Fundamentals! Like, no matter how much a computer does, Bison is very, is still very, very weak as a character to neutral jump. So, I'm like, just remember that, just remember that he doesn't have any option to catch you from that other than, like, a preemptive stomp. Um, and it'll blow up any attempt as a slide. So, if the controller is trying to detect when I'm not down, then uh, all I have to do is be pressing up so I can punish the slide. <laughs> Pathetic attempt! Power supply has stopped. The Black Moons must have been completely shut down. A bit late. You're a fool. <sighs> a little hit made you weak. Hmm? <laughs> Oh wow. Huh. Huh. What is Charlie Nash up to? And yet they cut away. Oh my god, this this game. This game. The storytelling. Hmm. But yeah, that was uh that was an intense match. So the Ryu match should be something along that line because Ryu is the only other character that we haven't played with yet. Oh, Rashid, damn! <laughs> I can't believe I actually saved the world. <laughs> nice. Slow claps for Rashid. Claps for Rashid. The hero that Street Fighter V maybe doesn't need, but absolutely deserves. <laughs> so yeah, no, that, that that was a good that was a good cap for Rashid's part of the story, assuming that is the cap. Time to play my 
left guard. You fool. Are you actually trying to die? <laughs> That's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. Kinda like it reminds you of like Vegeta, like Vegeta trying to blow himself up to defeat Majin Buu. And of course, it doesn't work. <laughs> and of course, it doesn't work because it's Bison. That's too bad though. Like future iteration of Street Fighter won't have Charlie anymore. Aww. His psycho powers. Yeah. Fong's still alive. Mm, yeah, they didn't kill off Fong, but they killed off Nash. Okay, seems seems fair. Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> it was you. You told the bastard about the command code. Back throw! <laughs> that back throw though. Oh. You must have worked very hard to stop this. Here all alone. Hmm. Ryu, get him. Blood hmm. bison! Why you? I'll kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you! <laughs> I've had enough of you. Indeed. I kill all of you! I am glad that he's not dead, because I definitely want to see him in future episodes, but. I thought it was gonna go for the overhead setup with that. How many times have we, have we heard that already? And this guy just won't die. Like, most resilient guy ever in the story. <laughs> Bong. Like, he falls into a pit of, I, I don't think that was lava, but very, very hot metal, and he's still kicking and screaming. Hmm. <laughs> so, I am still very, very sad that uh, Nash is no longer going to be a part of any other Street Fighter. He's top tier! How does he lose? He's top tier! <laughs> so where's Rog and Ed? I, that just occurred to me right now. Like, where is Rog and Ed? Where are those two? Because Ed is probably the most ominous character out right now. Ooh. Hello. Hello, final. Hello, final fight. As I had expected, you are the one who comes to me in all this chaos. As everyone has expected, I think. 
You had the power to actually defeat that beast. Now show it to me. This power is not to defeat. This is the power to push forward. <laughs> power is just power. The desire for all power leads to conflict. And that conflict leads to the ultimate, ultimate death. Battle. Now is the time. <laughs> okay, let's go. And of course, he's still reacting to my button. This guy. I couldn't tell if it was EX or just fearsome scissor. If I only had combos, he would be dead like five times over now. If he only had combos, he would be dead like three times over. So I need to go for like simple B and B here. that into um That didn't do enough. I think he has the defense modifier up. Should have done enough. That guy got so lucky with that. <laughs> I should have reacted to stuff to assure you. Mm. But yeah, I think he had a he had a defense modifier up to be sure. Um, that's why that's why that dungeon that dungeon combo should have killed. Maybe the Hadouken would have added to the scaling, I don't know, but like every single time I've seen that super just does so much in V-Trader.
So is that the last match or are we about to see something more? We're about we're about to see something more. No, this can't be the last. This can't be the last. There's still the uh, bison costume where he uh, he his clothes are all ripped off. That's probably the last one. He's probably gonna be inconstantly triggered then too. Oh my gosh, that that's gonna be a hell of a match. I might have to take <laughs> I might have to take some time off unless you want me to continue like uh, ten times to actually just learn basic review <laughs> basic review BNBs. Like um, the standing standing heavy kick into light into light kick into Tatsu. <laughs> We're not done. Hmm. Not even Chinko. This guy. How is this guy still standing? How is that guy still standing? Seriously. He's not dead yet. Of course not. Of course he's not dead yet. Probably when the building collapses there's gonna be one more fight. I don't know what. But yeah. Hmm. So story mode is good. Getting better. There are difficult fights. Something that uh not nothing so difficult that people will probably not be able to beat it, but definitely definitely encourages training mode um, for some others unless they've already been playing fighting games for a long time where they can just win by normals and basic stuff so I think the computer was built so that it gives you enough leeway to uh, land big punishes and all that although what would be scary if it's something like Ryu was just in, in free reversals every single time Oh no, Chun. Chun, ma Chun might not make it! Rashid, help her! Oh no. He just threw that Hadouken at her! <laughs> oh god, this guy. I thought he was gonna blow like the debris that was falling off. Not like throw a sh uh, holy Shinko Hadouken at her. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, thank you for throwing a Shinko Hadouken at me, like trying to threaten, threaten my life. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> Like, I would be scared if, like, Ryu was just charging a Shiko Duke out of nowhere. Like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, man. But how did Ryu get that power, though? Hmm. Like, he's been going on quests for the longest time. And I think this is the first time that he's actually been, like, successful in finding something. Um, where he... It wasn't, like, a combination of him falling into... Just uh, Satsumi no Hado getting becoming evil Ryu and stuff like that. So, and um, four is supposed to be uh, five is supposed to come after four. So there is that canon of evil Ryu already. Um, so it is interesting. 
all interesting stuff. Hmm. Oh, so jury didn't get beat. They got just escaped, apparently. And there's Ed and Balrog. Hmm. They still can't run their fire that well. Where's Rashid and Nash? Hmm. Well, Nash. Well, I'm still. I still can't believe that Nash is dead. But still, where's Rashid? That's the thing. He was just sitting down there. So did he die too? Oh no. No, no. Please don't. Don't kill Rashid off too for the love. Hmm. So, I don't think that's quite the end yet. Although this might be like a part one story anyway. There's still certainly some holes in the story. Ah, there he is. <laughs> he still has that goofy face, Jesus Christ, this guy. Huh? Who would call now just when I finally get to relax? <sighs> Hello, who is it? Good job. <laughs> if you're listening to this message, it means you have successfully stopped the moon. Surprised? <laughs> I just wanted to do something cool like this at least once. Who the hell is that? Please no. I always believed you would stop it. After all, you're you are Rashid of the, the turbulent, turbulent wind. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's not Viper. I have to go now, Rashid. One last thing. Please enjoy the rest of your life. Goodbye. Oh, it was the hacker. The 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 hacker was a woman. I did notice that, like, once the I was playing the game, where um, where uh, it was a woman. Yeah, you never said anything like that to me before. Lost. Well, time to go. Hmm. So, hmm, man, that 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 is a that is a little bit of feels from it. I I, I gotta give it to Captain for that. And that's the end of it, huh? Huh. That is interesting. Okay. So, I'm gonna let those credits roll, just because I do think there might be something worth it here. Wait. Has been yeah, there is something worth it. However, the one who defeated Bison. The ending is slightly different from the text written in the ancient prophecy. Ooh. Could it be an inconsequential error? Alone in the endless expanse of time? Perhaps. Gil. Truly sorry. <laughs> the world is destined to be ashen and barren. The balance between regeneration and destruction Gil. must be restored. This hmm. So you mean Come and follow me, Colleen. Her name's not Helen.
Wait. Wait! Wait! Was Colleen Rashid's friend? Ha! No! That's the... No, 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 okay, okay. I saw, I saw Rashid's friend up there, it wasn't Colleen. Okay. But wait. I don't want to use the credits to kind of like give away the story, but... Huh! That's really interesting. So we all thought it was Yuri and that it was Gil that was actually the mastermind. But why? Why would he want to do that though? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like why would he revive Nash for that? And what's the story behind Helen and Colleen? Oh, Colleen. Okay, so that's hole number one. Who the hell is ho uh, Helen and Colin? Second hole, what was Urian's hole behind all of this? Was Is he just playing like a subservient to Gil? Like his agent or something like that? Because we all know those two brothers aren't exactly the best of friends. Um, number three, um, Bison's not dead. Fang's not and Fang, I don't know what the hell happened to those two. But fourth, did um, Nash might be truthfully honest to God dead, which makes me really, really sad, actually. Um, huh. I think those are the four holes, really, that are missing in this story. Yeah. It's really, really cool. At the end, it was a good job. I do think at the end, they did a really, really good job. Um, definitely better storytelling than they did last time. Um, nothing on like MKX or Injustice kind of level. Those guys have it packed down. But this is definitely a step in the right direction for Capcom. I think um, in attracting the casual crowd, they will um, be able to get more from this type of stuff. Where they suddenly break into... Uh, uh, the um, that audience, that audience that doesn't necessarily play for tournaments, but rather just wants to play a, a story, press buttons, and stuff like that. So, I think um, that will work out inevitably at the end of them, at the end for them. Now the question is, does Capcom do a Marvel here and show any sort of post-credit scene? Let's see. Let's see. I would be disappointed if they didn't. Um, it seems like that is the trend nowadays. If I were working in Capcom, I would definitely have pitched for that. But we'll see. Yep. <laughs> of course. post credit scene. Is it a fight between Ryu and Ken? The promise? Oh man, that fixed Ken face though. That music. I like Thank that you music. For I was spending a good time on focusing my mind. <laughs> you still haven't changed at all. Now, why don't you show me the answer? The one you've been long searching for. <clears throat> Alright, we actually gotta play. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this guy! <laughs> this just got real, real quick. I actually don't want to lose this because you might not be able to see something if you lose it. I don't care. I don't care. 
waiting for him to jump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like he just goes to low forward confirm it to super. Jesus Christ. That 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 might have taken people that weren't expected that off the loop. It's really good for me. Jesus. That's like super already? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one, Capcom. Claps again for that one. Claps again for that one. Hmm. <laughs> now I get it. I guess you won't be needing this anymore, huh? There is no end on the road of fighting. I know. I still need this. Keep Circus concentration up. <laughs> it's kind of like a a lot for martial artists too. That's been a t kind of a Japanese uh, saying. I don't want to say Japanese saying, but I know it's something embedded in their culture where, like, the act of um, tightening your belt in karate or tightening your headband is something that keeps up your focus. But I believe that might be the end of the story mode. Is it? I don't want to say anything up until we get to that uh, Capcom screen. Okay. So. So. Thank you guys for taking on this journey with me. I do think that Capcom nailed quite a good bit of story um, they it's definitely a step in the right direction I think that if they can get their editing down where it's not like with those 10 second scenes followed like 20 seconds of loading um, it'll even be better it's not even the loading it's just the fact that they do so many rapid cuts like that the long sequences of the story mode though were definitely on point I think um, they did do a very, very good job regarding that. Um, what else is there? Um, there? There's the four holes in the plot line, like I said, but this may or may not be um, the whole story mode. There might be more story to come very soon. Maybe in Season 2 when the new characters release, like Gil. Um, I think the four characters that we've seen are DiCaprio, definitely, Gil, uh, Abel or Abel and a new character. I would assume they would do another new character. Maybe Rashid's uh, sidekick, but that might be too obvious. Maybe it's someone else. Um, but yeah, no, this was really, really good. Uh, really, really well done. And I hope to see more of this si sort of stuff from Capcom very, very soon. Um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. More Road to Evil stuff gonna come up. More combo videos are gonna come up are coming up. I'm going to be uh, gearing this channel back to competitive mode, but it's nice to do these sorts of things once in a while. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.